I'm standing in the beautiful gardens of the Ainsworth House and Gardens, and I'm here with Kevin, who is a co-owner of this place, right? right. Yep, indeed. And so this is, well, we're here because the Inviting Vines Tour is actually going to make this a location this year, right? Right. So we wanted to see what it was about and, and visit it and talk to you about it because it has a very rich, rich history, doesn't it? It does. Uh, the house is actually eight years older than the state. Oh, wow. 1851. <laughs> Uh, Ainsworth built it when he married the local judge's daughter, Judge White. He married Jane. Uh, they only lived here three or four, uh, four years. Then they moved to Portland and he made millions, literally, of money. But uh, the house was lived in from 1851 to 1990 when it was restored. Lost some of the original land, yeah. but was restored and, and we bought it 11 years ago. So one must wonder what was going through your minds at the time because it it wasn't this nice at that no, time. No, <laughs> it, it was a bomb site. Um, luckily, the house has been well restored because I know nothing about plumbing or electricity. Uh -huh. But um, but the grounds had so much potential. And coming from England and having lived in California for 15 years, I wanted rain. <laughs> <laughs> and the nice thing with being here is that stuff grows. Yes. Yeah. So and deers don't eat it. <laughs> so um, so yeah, it was just the idea to have a house where we could create a garden that would last and would be welcoming and um, coming from different backgrounds, uh, creating a place of peace and hospitality. And when you, when you saw it, did you instantly see, when you first saw the property, did you go, I see these gardens, I see what this should be? No, um, <laughs> we looked at a dozen places and this was the worst. <laughs> but it was the only one that already had a, a conditional use for having events. Oh, okay. So all the others were really beautiful and they were got lakes and other stuff, but they were in places where you couldn't actually open them to the public. And, and, and mentioning the events, that was because you actually do have a lot of events here. Mm -hmm. You have a, a website that people can go to and get information on those, right? Uh, we, yeah, we do a lot of weddings and so maybe 70 or 80 weddings a year yeah. and about 50 or 60 other events that are everything from funerals, memorial services, um, holiday parties. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. But this really is still a private residence, mm -hmm. so it, it's not just an open no. to the garden or to the public garden. No, is it? We, we're very happy to work with garden societies to open the gardens to groups uh, by special appointment. So if people have a group they want to come around, just give us a call and we'll make a date. And, and the great thing too is, although it feels like the gardens have been here forever, but that's because there were several very large old trees on the mm -hmm. property. We have one uh, heritage tree, the, the Ponderosa pine, which is a Willamette Valley species, um, made a heritage tree in uh, three years ago. And that means it's at least 150 years yeah. old, probably near 200. Wow. We have a wonderful, uh, black locust at the front of the house, this wonderful uh, walnut tree. So yeah, they really ground the place and gave great shade, of course, in the summer. Yeah, perfect. And you know, now we're gonna take a walk over to another part of the garden and I'm gonna talk to Linda Butler about the Inviting Vines tour that's going on here. Thank Let's you. go, Kevin. So now I'm standing here with our good friend, Linda Butler, and we're gonna talk about the Inviting Vines Tour, which is happening here at the Ainsworth House and Garden. So tell me all about this fun event. Well, you wanna to come today um, and see this garden and have an opportunity to really take the time to wander yeah. and enjoy it. We'll have a raffle, we have clematis for sale, we have a Plant Lover's Guide to Clematis book for sale, and all day today, the Rogerson Clematis Garden Greenhouse is open. You can buy plants there, you can buy tickets there if you want to start your tour nice. at the Rogerson Clematis Garden. And the third garden on the tour is the Tuttle Garden, which is only five minutes nice. from the Rogerson Garden, and it is Disneyland for the eyes. And you're giving, there's all, it's going to be like talks and information as well. Right. Here at Ainsworth, we're going to do talks. Uh, Bud Bowen, one of the owners, is going to do a talk on the history of the garden. Nice. At noon, I'm going to do a talk on uh, using clematis as cut flowers, oh, which fun. most people don't think about, and then Bud will reprise his morning talk in the afternoon. Well, there you go. Now, for all of this information, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to the Rogerson's Clematis website. We'll click you over to the Ainsworth Home and Garden, uh, House and Garden website, and we'll even give you information on the Inviting Vines Tour. So be sure to get your tickets, come on out, enjoy the information and the beauty of this stunning garden. Thank you so much, Linda. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful day. <laughs>